What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to kill this weed, which is yellow nut sedge, and any other weed that might show up in your Bermuda lawn. And make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm not only gonna show you how to mix and apply the products, but I'm also gonna give you the one week update on how the weeds are looking after being treated. Applying post-emergent herbicides is not something I do very often in the lawn, maybe once or twice a season max. And the reason for that is because the grass itself is so thick that it's able to outcompete the weeds for nutrients and choke them out. So the number one tip for a weed-free lawn, if such a thing really exists, is to have a thick, healthy turf. And while we're on the topic of tips for a weed-free lawn, I just wanted to go ahead and recommend that y'all apply a pre-emergent as well. The one that I use is called Prodiamine 65WG, and I split the applications into two. So I make one at the very beginning of the spring, and then I make one later in the fall. And this is going to mitigate a lot of the weed pressure that you would have throughout the season just with one product. The main weed that we're trying to get rid of today is yellow nut sedge, and then I have a few broadleaf weeds that are scattered along the fence line. So I'm going to use sedge hammer and Celsius, which are two granular products that you mix into water and then you spray it with a liquid treatment. And the good thing about both of these products, especially with the Texas heat, is that there are no temperature restrictions. And here are the products that we're gonna use in today's application. This is Celsius, it's a warm season herbicide, and it's a broad spectrum weed killer. So it's gonna knock out probably 85 or 90% of the weeds that you see in your Bermuda lawn, but yellow nut sedge is not one of them. So that's where sedge hammer comes in. and we're going to tank mix all of these together in here. This is just a surfactant. It's going to allow the entire solution just to be a little stickier. That way when you spray the mixture onto the weed, it's going to stick to the leaf blade better and allow the products to be more effective. I'll have links to all the products I'm talking about in today's video in the description box below. A couple of side notes about those products, one being Celsius is expensive up front, so it's probably a good idea, especially if you have a smaller yard, to go in with some neighbors, so you can try to split that cost up. Number two is that both products are child and pet friendly. As long as it's already dried on the leaf blade, you're good to go there. And then three and four, I'll just roll these together, is mowing and then irrigation. So you don't wanna mow or water your lawn right after applying this product because you want it to sit on the leaf blade as long as possible. And you really don't even wanna mow the day before or a couple of days before either because you want as much surface area as possible on the weed to spray the product. So luckily mixing and measuring is actually pretty easy because Sedge Hammer gives you this one gram measuring cup and we're gonna use this for both products. For the Sedge Hammer, we're gonna use 0.9 grams because we're gonna make one gallon of solution. And then for the Celsius, I think it's 2.4 grams for the medium right there. So for the sedge hammer, I'm basically just gonna give one scoop right there. And then for the Celsius, we're gonna go one, two, and then give it a nice little half scoop right there. All right, and then I'm going to mix that into the tank here. The tank already has the one gallon of water and then I've got the surfactant that I was going to add. And you don't have to be super scientific with the surfactant. Just add a drop, really. All right. And again, that's just so it'll stick to the leaf blade. And then we're going to mix it up. And now we're ready to apply. As far as the actual application goes, I'm using my foliar T-Jet tip because we want this to stick to the leaf blade of the weed. And we don't have to douse the weed. We're just going to go over it once and spray over it just like we would with any other product. When you really over apply and douse an area with a herbicide, all it's gonna do is damage the Bermuda grass and cause unnecessary yellowing. So what I'm gonna do right now is just go ahead and spray the product along the entire fence line of the backyard. So here we go.
All right, and we're actually done with my yard, but I let my neighbor know that I was gonna have an entire gallon of product and I wasn't gonna need the whole gallon. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest on the side yard between his yard and my yard. That way I'm not wasting any product. All right, so I am finished applying and I just wanted to give a little word of advice, I guess here, even though there are no temperature restrictions on either product, I personally would still recommend that you make your applications either early in the morning or later at night, as opposed to in the heat of the day, just because I don't wanna take any unnecessary risks of damaging the turf. So now it's just a matter of waiting to see the results of the application. So I will see y'all in the next few days. All right, y'all, we are one week post application now. So I'll go ahead and show y'all what the nut sedge is looking like. And here's a quick shot of the backyard since I just got a mow in. But let's go ahead and look at this weed here. And you can see that I still haven't cut it. I could cut it at this point and it wouldn't hurt the weed killer, but I left it long just so I could give y'all a better visual of what's taking place here. And you can see that we now have quite a bit of yellowing on the plant. And this is a pretty big, pretty long, nut sedge plant at this point. So on the label, it actually says it could take up to 28 days for sedge hammer to fully kill the nut sedge. And we are at day seven right now. I'm gonna give you all one more update at day 10. So three days from now, and then I'll probably go ahead and cut it and end the video right there. So I'll see you on three days. All right, y'all, it is day 10. So we're gonna go ahead and do our final update here on the nut sedge. And hopefully you can see that it has yellowed up even more than it had three days ago, so we're headed in the right direction here. Today, I'm gonna to go ahead and cut it, and I don't think we're gonna to have to worry about this growing back. If you did have a more stubborn plant to where it didn't look like the first application was gonna do the trick, just go back in a week or two weeks and hit it with the same application. Again, you don't have to douse it, and you can see that the herbicide did its job, and the Bermuda around it was unfazed. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up right here, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you're enjoying the content and you wanna continue to see more of it, hit the red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.